Hello everybody, it's me Titania, I'm back. Um, so I'm here with another um, Harry Potter inspired um, junk journal. This is going to be called The Witch and Wizard's uh, Baby Book. So you can see um, on the front cover, it's this recessed um, square and then a circle um, cut out to show like these two children in the front. I think it's super cute. It's like a book within a book. Here's the side. It's um, enclosed, um, tied off with a white ribbon. And you can kind of see like all the different frills and things sticking out of it. Um, and it does have little beads. Center of the signatures. And inside binding, there's two faux um, twine bindings, I guess. It's not real. Here's the back. So the fabric um, for this journal is distress and um, colored and stained all by me, all by hand. So now let's get into it. Let me just open it by untying the ribbon. And here is the first page. Um, as you can see, it's a floral inspired, um, floral themed baby book. So right here in the front is a little pocket with these small pieces of ephemera. Tuck it right back in. Down here it says a scrapbook. Now, um, here's in this pocket, there's a little photograph of a little boy. And here is um, a dictionary page. It actually folds out like this. The, oh, um, this is actually from a book called The New Dictionary of Thoughts. Let me just open it. And it's basically almost like a dictionary and a thesaurus merged together. It's just quotes, quotes of the, of the word. So let's put this to the side. In this dictionary page, it's home, one of the quotes. Every house where love abides and friendship is a guest is surely home, and home sweet home, for there the heart can rest, by Henry Van Dyke. Now the back is honesty, but I chose it uh, mainly for the home dictionary page, and it just folds up. It has like a little tab that I added. You can see this. Okay, moving on. Oh, throughout um, the baby book too, it's like little quotes, so. When I grow up, I want to be, and the first one should be around here somewhere. Here it is, <laughs> a magizoologist. Anyway, that's skipping forward a little bit. So tucked here in here with um, a paper clip, Harry Potter's, with Harry Potter's um, glasses and a scar. There's the baby's first word envelope. So it's really just um, H, that H name card. So it's blank, you can write on it. Okay. Here's family. And more of those, dic those faux dictionary thesaurus pages. You should just call them quote dictionary pages. Some more name cards and a blank little thing. Again, the match is zoologist because it's a zoology page. And here is a photo um, of Lily Potter and baby Harry. There's a little tag, cigar thing. Maybe you wouldn't, you could cover that up with something. And on it, is, it says, um, to have been loved so deeply, even though the person who loved us is gone, will give us some protection forever by Albus Dumbledore. So yeah, actually yeah, it looks nice like this. So whoever gets this, <laughs> I highly recommend just pasting this photo on top of here. Okay, here's one of the beading, Magic and Truth. This is a pocket as well. Just like these two little boys in their raincoats, probably all muddy. Okay, and here's the back of that. 
little another little boy with a turtle. Another collage page with a photo of a child as Peter Pan. I thought that looks really cute. Another little pocket page. Oh, it's like a faux little um, photo holder made out of like tracing paper. It's just pictures from the movies. All the Weasleys, how cute. Backed. Securely keep it all in here. And then another pocket. Okay. Fabric uh, with beading pinned on. Oh, and it even has a little postcard charm dangle. Page. This pocket. Like another one of those dictionary quotes. One's about happiness. Under my sweetheart. And just a cat. Lesson six is it a cat? Black flowers. So this um, signature is going to be having a lot of flower motifs. Here's a photo of the Potter household little journaling card that says daughter. Text it right there. Right here it says baby's first spell. So maybe you could write down your baby's first spell. In this pocket we have a photo of a little child with a wonderful bowl haircut. This kind of reminds me of like Draco. So Maybe Narcissa wanted to give him a bowl haircut. I don't know. A Malfoy always looks good, no matter what hairstyle. And secured with a paper clip with a dragon charm on is a T journaling card, a alphabet journaling card, and this little journaling card that says Sun. That secures back all with the paper clip onto the fabric. Okay, and in this pocket, we've got this large tag with this quote from Albus Dumbledore. Very long, so I'll spare my breath. I'll save my breath. This one's blank, so you can write whatever you want on there. In this pocket is this um, large tag. This is my own printable. And then I added this quote that says, yes, my darling. And this cute photo of a, a curly haired girl. Kind of reminds me of Hermione. Like Down here it says, an Aurora, so this calls back to the um, little quote that says, when I grow up, I want to be an Aurora. Oh, and right in this pocket, so a pine cone tag from my heart to yours. Printable. And a postcard tag. So another quote, it's kind of cut off, but it's the essence of it is this last line that says Christmas is a time for family by the Weasleys said by the Weasleys it just tucks all back in here moving on quote right here stars are always shining another alphabet journaling card this is like a little flip out so you can write on here and then here is just a small little tag and another alphabet journaling tag. If I can get it out. Yep, G. Looking for Granger. Okay, more children. 
This is made from water, um, I added in watercoloring paper, so you can watercolor or draw on here. It says, in my heart. More beading. And then more of that watercolor paper, which on this flip bar right here, so the watercolor um, paper that I got it from was from a, it's second hand. And when I opened it, there was already a drawing of a bear. So I just thought it'd be cute to add it, add it in. Alrighty. A herbologist. Lona Sprout, anyone? I like this little title page that says Butterflies and Moths. And right here it says Family. This one I hand wrote in. Some collaging. This large um, thing that I basically clipped in. This is like another small little notebook. Just open it up, made from scrap pieces paper that I had lying left over. I just think it'd be cute to just, I don't know, carry this along with you. Because this is like a pretty hefty book to be just putting in your purse. And another one of those cat journaling cards. More beading. This is like a journaling space. This pocket. Blank tag. Little photograph and then another cat card. Here's a nine and a three quarters charm on a paper clip. And this within my heart pocket is a envelope, photos of Hermione, and again another curly haired little girl. Again, reminds me of Hermione. Slips in back here. Quote, the Weasleys are Harry's favorite family in the world. In this pocket is another one of those little mini folders made from an envelope. And this one just says Ginevra's photos. It's very shabby chic. <laughs> That's what I used to call it. Something you might find in the Weasleys home. And just photos of, um, vintage photos of a little girl that I thought reminds me of Ginevra. Isn't this super cute? Ginny. Sorry. <laughs> she doesn't like to be called Ginny. Yeah. Okay. Another alphabet drawing card and a small craft paper tag. We'll flip out. I know that I am home. And then here is another journaling card. D. Draco. More beading. And 
comes a super extra large tag. And then there's another large quote, long, qu long quote. And more tiny little ephemera pieces. And here's the end of that. Um, when I grow up, I want to be, quote, the brightest witch or wizard of my age. Journaling card. <laughs> and of course, for um, Hagrid, whose baby is um, the little dragon Norbert. So I added his photo in here. Another large tag with a quote by Minerva. I stamp this on here. And here's the last, the back of the book. By the light of the moon. It's a little covered up by the washi tape. That's fine. It actually flips out for a cute little doggy photo and some collaging. And that's the book. Let me just close everything up. And Stimpo. And there you have it. Thank you for watching. Please check um, the description box down below for availability on my Etsy shop.